So yeah, this is uh, the, the the normal shipping area, and then we just have more of Scar stuff everywhere. It's <laughs> awesome. So gut it, go. And we'll get over it. guys here in Tampa Florida we are headed to Scar Audio to have a meeting with Kevin and Shane and give you guys a little tour of the operations at Scar Audio so I figured it'd be cool to bring you guys along about to turn onto the street now and I think this is it yeah turn left onto West Crenshaw Street then the destination is on your left I have a little bit of crud today don't feel amazing, but in 600 feet, the destination is on your left. 5424. Maserati sitting outside, looking very nice. But I don't know exactly where I'm going. I'm not gonna park too close to the Maserati over there. I don't want to take away from the value. <laughs> this looks awesome. Maserati, I like it. Beautiful car. I hear tape guns going. That's always a good sound. Hey, there he is. What's up, man? Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm here for an official tour. Official tour. It's uh, a lot busy? of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> We're busy. Sure. A lot of stuff going on. <laughs> this area used to be like an office area, but. We don't know what we're gonna do with it, so we're probably gonna be doing some like wood floors and stuff. Cool. And I had built all those displays. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. And uh, we had it as a showroom, but we're trying to get less and less people maybe just stopping by, just yeah. because we are the manufacturer. Right. So um, the boards are empty, <laughs> and we are also, you know, the the CAD side to where we have other brands as well. Yeah, yeah. So we're not really sure what this area is gonna be. Um, I don't know if you ever met Matt Kimball. I have not. This is Matt. This is Jonathan. He hurt his leg, so he can't get up. Oh, you did? Okay, Jonathan Price. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Uh, just coming by to get a little tour real quick. I've been uh, doing a ton of scar sales lately. It's just yeah, been on a huge... Uh, I process a lot of the artists you see. How you do? The Jonathan Price orders all the time. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, I have like, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 that I have to like pinned over this one. I just have to have somewhere to sit down and get them uh, sent over. But really cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like Kevin's right-hand guy. Uh-huh for the whole umbrella of the corporation. And then Sweet. I, of course, I'm doing SCAR, but figured it'd be good to introduce you because he, oh, he yeah, deals yeah, with a lot sure. of your stuff. Because we're doing more and more SCAR. Uh -huh. So you might, in the future, talk more to Matt or emails or something like that. Okay. Just to be good for you to meet him. Yeah, cool. You have a car? Uh, I nope. don't have a car. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm like one of the other people here who doesn't have a car. Yeah. <laughs> I just normally never talk to people, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. But I can I assume I'll probably be getting a car pretty soon now that I'm doing more scar stuff, so okay. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get on that. That'll yeah. work. Yeah. Cool man. Nice meeting you, man. Yeah, nice meeting you. Uh, <clears throat> this is Kevin's office. Uh really nothing much in here. We just had a couple prototypes in here that we're really gonna get getting made. I feel like I need to uh step up my office game. I only have a laptop sitting on my desk. I gotta no, have that three panel. That's <laughs> is there a three panel minimum around yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for for you to be here, you have to have three monitors. Whether they worked or not, that's different. Uh, bathrooms, okay. kitchen, and then this is the warehouse. Nice. That area in there. Kevin's in there printing papers. <laughs> Look at him spitting up. His labels nonstop all day. That's so and then awesome. That's Matt. He's uh he does all the shipping for the CAD side, mm -hmm. and then everybody else does scar. That's <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I get excited when I have like a 
20 or 30 pack of labels come out. Yeah, that's how <laughs> we were too. I mean, it's going to get, it's, you're just going to grow that much more. That's how we were when, when I first started with Kevin. It was very minimal, normal, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. now it's just like, like within an hour, we'll have 20 labels. That's like crazy. just for Scar alone. Right. Like that's awesome. Probably that, more. That, yeah, 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 for know. sure. But um, this kind of is the area where we package all the Scar stuff. So we're just getting stuff started. Mm -hmm. This is Tez. Tez, this is Jonathan. Tez, nice to meet you, man. Nice meet Jonathan you, Price. It's Tez. poor Tez, but we call him Tez, so for I short. just have to call him. Is it all right if I introduce you as Tez? Tez. All right, all right. Cool. All right. Awesome. So what he does is basically has been like all the um, enclosures and stuff. Mm -hmm. We'll package them ready to go. So Sweet. subs, amps, amp kit, stuff like that. Yeah. And then package it up and ready to go. Awesome. And this is Murphy. He helps us. Pulling scar and everything. Merkel. This is nice Jonathan. Meet you, man. Hey, Jonathan nice Price. Nice uh, so yeah, this is uh, the, the the normal shipping area, and then we just have more scar stuff everywhere. Uh, that's awesome. So what do you uh, what kind of like lift do y'all do? Is it a what lift? Scissor lift, and uh, then we have a forklift. Uh huh. But the forklift can't get into certain certain ones. So what we do is we'll bring the forklift up, bring the pallet up, and then bring the scissor lift, and then unload it manually. I see. Because a forklift that kind of goes sideways yeah. is really expensive. Yeah, that and to you would lose a lot of pallet racking space, like yeah. to be able to turn in right. on each uh in, into each aisle and drop off. That's a that's a predicament that I'm in. Uh, in my warehouse, like, because I only have racking around the outside at, at first, and then, and I didn't want anything in the inside because I was gonna buy a forklift. Uh, granted, my stuff, in my warehouse isn't that wide. It's only 50, 30, 30, 30 wide, so uh, I could only have racking around the outside and still be able to turn in with a yeah. forklift. And I started getting so much more stuff in. I just had to like put it in the middle of the floor or whatever, so I couldn't. Uh, I, I don't have room to do the. Um, uh, a forklift or whatever so I understand like on that so I have like a, a rolling stairway or whatever so when I get stuff in unless it's a bunch of stuff and, I, and my top racks are like empty I'll borrow my neighbor's forklift and like yeah. move all the stuff out on the pallets in the middle and like stick it up there yeah. but as far as like pulling it like I just roll the stairs down there and walk up there and get it yeah, over. Yeah so. that's we, we mainly have to do manual just because we we're planning on getting the, a forklift that does sideways palleting so what you could do is just go in here and it picks it up and and turns it, mm -hmm. or it's just turned, and then there's a reach pallet, uh -huh. uh, reach uh, forklift, to where it goes out, mm -hmm. like far, and then grabs it and it moves and puts it up. Yeah. But I mean, it, you know, it's like a house. Right, it's, oh yeah. It's, and yeah, for sure. We were thinking about getting a used one, but then you, you, you worry about, okay, if that used one fails, then what? Yeah. You know, so yeah. we're still in the, I mean, everything's working now, mm -hmm. it's big enough, but we're already running out of space. Oh, you right. know what I mean? Because we have, <laughs> three containers on the water on their way here because you know we're, we're out of things but yeah. it's just because we've been busy it's just not because of anything else right um, right uh some more scar stuff some more of the the car distributors and this is scar and then this is scar over here so we have a few of these floating around yeah um and then the enclosures for all the enclosure builds and then we I sell the enclosures the, separately yeah i love the uh tall uh, racking for sure. Cause mine's only well, I could do. Well, is that twenty foot? I think so. Uh, so I, I could. I think I could do twenty foot, maybe sixteens or whatever. But uh, like we had a like there was a permit. Uh, that you were supposed to get in order to rack over eight foot mm -hmm. um and at the time like when i was first getting started or i was like man and it's like a ten thousand dollar permit to be able to do it. i'm like at that time i was like holy crap yeah like that's a huge expense i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna uh go with the eight foot or whatever yeah and that's the route that i went and now i'm like uh unfortunately <laughs> so, you have to do what you have to do just because those things you don't you don't expect them and right they just right pop up it's like what is this bill for you know what i mean yeah and, oh yeah for sure but yeah. we have to i mean we're you know a manufacturer so we're, mm -hmm. we're trying to keep as much stuff in stock and uh, we're already running out of space oh, I mean, yeah. we, we're we're looking at maybe having to move in mm -hmm. you know a short period of time but we're trying to make it work you know as much yeah as for can. as long as possible that's like where i'm at now because i'm starting to get uh, starting to get full but i'm like i just want to have my in my head i want to have my place at 100 percent capacity before like i start moving but then i'm like 
Should I move before I get there? Because it'll be less stuff that I have to move to the next. That's place. what we think, but, but you know, you just do whatever is best for your your company. You know, I, that's what I say. Right, right. You know, that's what I've learned from Kevin. You know, it's just like, why are we doing all this if we're planning on moving? It's just like he's like, I don't want to stop the flow of a good thing. You know, so exactly. Yes. If you have to move a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, it is what it is. I just suggest to get as much stuff on pallets, so oh, the, yeah, move, yeah. the move is easy. Yeah, er. easier. <laughs> yeah, put the er only because yeah, it's, it's never going to be it's easy. Tough. It's it's tough because when we had to move from the other warehouse to this, this warehouse, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a moving team come in and help us because it was just too much for all of us to deal with. Right. And now it's, you know, five, six times what we had before. Mm -hmm. And it, we've only been here for, I think, two years now. Yeah. So it's crazy. It's you crazy. Keep, <laughs> keep pushing it and it'll keep going for sure. Yeah. I have, uh, um, Oh, oh y'all do the boxes here, or is that? Well, we just got this recently, so I've designed a few enclosures, uh -huh. and of course Kevin wants to be in charge of it, so he wants to learn it before anybody else does. So yeah, <laughs> um, we busted out a few, nothing crazy, just to see, because mm -hmm. uh, ma mainly everything I build myself. You know, the table saw is up there now, mm -hmm. but the routed table with the chest and lifts and everything is ready to go so that's how I used to build all the enclosures like all the prototypes and stuff like that and sometimes we would have customers come by mm -hmm. and uh, I would do builds for it but I really don't have time anymore so we got that so it's pretty awesome yeah, to have a CNC machine but you really need to to learn learn, it, learn more about it you know right, and that's right. what he's in the process of doing so we made a bunch of uh, like dual six and a half enclosures mm -hmm. and it was it was really awesome to just have it cutting while we just kept busy you know it's nice and then I came out here assemble and carpet them like 20 minutes right right you know, it was done because you know it, it just goes quicker <laughs> not, yeah, not, <laughs> much no. quicker and then this is just like our little testing area we of course we have the smd thing there too when we do the videos but right sweet and this is just temporary just because like you're saying you know how much do we do make permanent when we're getting planning on moving so we just kind of have a basic thing set up with 10 14 volt batteries and it'll be easier to move than me making something that's permanent and then not right, be able to right. move it. So, and then well, this is like, kind of like the warranty area, like everything there mm -hmm. is, it's all good. People send back and they say it's bad and we test it and it's fine. Well, you know, cause sometimes something in the vehicle. That needs to be another clearance yeah. section. <laughs> Man. And that's a tough thing too, you know, the clearance sections, people, say things that you know might not be true but that's why we don't have a repair tech here because mm -hmm. we don't want people thinking that we're selling beads right stuff, so but yeah my toolbox is behind all that <laughs> can't even get to it it's all the uh stuff of the enclosures all those little foam things oh, well. so yeah we're just trying to kind of get it straightened out because this these past few months have been crazy oh yeah i know our customers know too yeah. and then this For is just sure. my area with Devin. So this is our this is our area for now. We're probably be moving back in there because that's where we were originally. Okay. Devin, Jonathan Price. This How's it going, man? How you doing? Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you too, man. Uh, yeah. So this is basically where we're at. This is where Yanzi was. We have a new guy starting soon. Um, cool. Tomorrow, actually. Okay. And uh, his nickname's uh, Cuba. Cuba. He used to work <laughs> at Metra, so he'll be here. He'll be here tomorrow and start, so that's pretty much it. We're just, uh, he's doing some some stuff that are overseas, just some of the prototypes that we're getting ready to go. He's mm -hmm. just telling the little bit, the nitty gritty kind of stuff that we need to get done. But that's the Marine speakers. Do we I, have the Marine speakers? No, yeah. That's awesome because like, I, I don't offer Marine yet and uh, I, have a, like, I have a lot of people that, I'm from Mississippi or whatever, so they all like go off road and want stuff for the razors and yeah, like yeah. just some. It's a big deal. Yeah, it's, so it's very popular. It'll be good. So you know, this is just prototype, but it's pretty much the done thing, and mm -hmm. that's them. We probably had about a year of having them tooled and built and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So it's all stainless steel and nice. Just got the little scar logo there. Cool. That's cool. Sweet. Yep. And then we get some marine amplifiers, the RP amplifiers, we're gonna make marine grade. Right. And we'll just see how it does. You know, if people like it, it does well, then we'll just add more, you know. We'll yeah, yeah. Offer this in gloss black, and then we'll have a little, like a 
enclosure style, like the cone looking enclosure style. Mm -hmm. Hopefully come up with a few things. You plan on being here all day? No, as soon as we eat lunch, I'm gonna roll up. Okay. Lunch time? Hey. <laughs> you wanna drive? Yeah. How do we operate this key? I don't know. That feels nice. <laughs> it's a nice feeling key fob that I've never felt before. So you can hit the remote start too. Hit that twice. So it should start and let's just jump in. All right, I gotta get a snap real quick. What's up guys? About to take the Maserati to lunch. This is Kevin's car. Will you let me drive it? Let me unlock it first. <laughs> Florida. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Give me some AC in this bad boy. That's the first thing you go to. You're like, who cares about starting it? Check out my new whip, y'all. It's a pitch fork. Just kidding. It's a Maserati. It's not mine. It's Kevin's. It's Scar. They let me take it to lunch real quick. All right, which way do I go? Oh, I can't get them. I was gonna <laughs> gas on it, but there's like so much yeah, traffic. There's traffic. I, I can't gas it for three feet. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as he got this first thing he was like, let's go. And he just gives me the keys and drives. He's very, very cool about stuff like that. You know, here, take the car, take the car. It's very cool. It's definitely nice, nice to drive. It's got a, I think it's a twin turbo V6 in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So many emails. They don't stop. So gut it, go. Get over nice. <laughs> the exhaust note sounds awesome. Oh, look, the windows like are down. Yeah. Nice. So turn like where that target is, there okay. should be a little just go in right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I'm driving a clutch, but yeah. like backwards, like yes. with the brake and like. It's awesome. Oh. oh, so awesome. Thank you for manning the camera. Yeah. Sweet ride. We're going to grab some Chick fil A and uh, go back, eat it real quick, and I got to roll out to the next stop. Yeah.